all right welcome to the channel everybody i am morphine and tonight we are going to be walking through how to set up some of the more advanced functionality in the stream deck we're going to look at multi-action multi-action switch and maybe a few other things depending on how much time we have to get through this but that is what we're going to be doing tonight so everybody stay tuned All right, welcome back. So we are going to get into the stream deck by Elgato tonight. And what we're going to do, be doing is, like I mentioned, we're going to be going over the multi-action, multi-action switch, some of the more advanced um, funk pieces of functionality inside of the application for you. And it shouldn't take too long. So let's get right into it. Let me hop over to that scene now. So this is the stream deck. If you aren't familiar with it, this is the 32 key one that you're looking at right here in the stream deck. You have a lot of functions that you can use. All of the ones that I have set up are on the side here. If you hit more actions, you will see about a hundred or so additional integrations that are already built into the stream deck. We're not going to go through these. This isn't a full tutorial for the stream deck. This is just to walk through a couple of the functions inside. Um, you can see up here under the stream deck section, they have a few different options you can use. In fact, if I click on this, there are actually a few more that are available. Let me actually show them all to you. So you have create folder. You have switch profile. There are multiple profiles that you can use inside the stream deck for whatever reason you would want to. I typically use one. But if I wanted one for a, a video editing filter uh, profile, or if I wanted a set of buttons just for streaming, I could have multiple profiles set for that. And there's a timer and there are other functions that you will get when you use some of these, which you'll actually see. But for tonight, we're going to be sticking to multi-action, multi-action switch. Starting with multi-action, if I drag this over to an open spot, it immediately goes into the set to the function. And what you do from here is you basically can drag over any of these other actions from anything on here that you would want to use. And so let's say I'm using Streamlabs. I want to drag over a scene. There is a scene I can use. And then if I were to drag this button, a delay, and I'll explain what I'm doing in just a second. And then I'm going to drag over another scene. So what I have done here is I've dragged over three things, two scenes from Streamlabs and a delay. And the reason I would use this is because I have scenes set up that show a pop-up for social media for YouTube and a pop-up, another pop-up for social media for Twitch. So, but they are separate scenes. So what I can do is I can go on the first one here, scene, come down and it says the collection that I'm in. And I do a drop down here to get to the scene that I want to show. And I want to do YouTube. Now I know that that takes about eight seconds or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this delay and I'm going to set this, this is a millisecond. So I'm going to set this to 8,500. So that means about eight and a half seconds. So what that means is the first scene is going to run and then the stream deck is going to wait about 8.5 seconds. And then it's going to go and run the second scene. And this one will be for Twitch. So what this will do with one click of the button is it will run one scene or wait half a sec, eight and a half seconds. It'll run the second scene so that it looks nice and seamless to the person watching. And even though it's switching through three different scenes. Now there's one more thing that you could add to this if you wanted to, to the specific example I'm showing you is I'm going to add another scene. Actually, I'm going to add another delay as well. And let me put that up here and I'm going to set this to also eight and a half seconds. And for the third scene, I'm going to set it to my base cam. So the way that my setup works is I have three different scenes for, my, for this face cam that you're looking at now. And I call it Canon because that's the camera that I'm using. So what we were going to do is it's essentially going to do just what I'm showing you now. So you're looking at it and then I'm going to click on the Canon YT, which is my YouTube. Now you're seeing my YouTube pop up. 
as soon as that is done i could manually click on the canon twitch scene and now you're going to see the twitch pop up now it isn't just the pop-up that's changing it's actually i'm actually changing scenes so i had my base scene i duplicated it and then added in those separate pop-ups that you saw so what we're doing inside of the app is we are doing scene delay scene delay and then back to the scene that we started at so we know that we're clear and it's good what's important to remember about the multi-action though is that it runs things sequentially so if you wanted to switch scenes like i'm doing and you don't add in the delay what you're going to find is it just runs one scene there immediately runs a second scene you won't even see that anything that happened from the first scene so delay is crucial to use and you'll only see it in here when you are in the multi-action function so you notice that when we were before we got in here in fact let me get out of here to show you there are a lot more options so the options change depending on what you're in especially with the stream deck the other thing that we want to do is we, we could go ahead and change the actual icon and if i wanted to do that let me just pick youtube so i change the actual icon for youtube of that to youtube i could add a title in here if i wanted to it's all up to you what you want to do the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a multi-action switch to this so i'm going to go over here again to the app and i'm going to grab multi-action switch and i'm going to drag it over and now it looks very similar to what we saw before however you now have two buttons here one and two so what this now has turned this button into is toggle so when i hit it once it does whatever multi-actions are in here when i hit it again it does whatever multi-actions are in here one way that i have used this before is on yeah, i have a scene with my xbox setup and i took that base scene and i duplicated it three times and each scene i have the whole webcam the face cam in a different position so when i'm streaming and if i'm playing a game and whatever game i'm playing where the webcam is is not really beneficial like it's hiding some inf important information for the viewer i can hit this button and essentially toggle through four different locations whatever looks the best and just leave it there and the way that i do this is i add a scene i was going to do two we'll keep this simple i'll add a scene there and we'll set this to xbox top left and i'll go to the second tab and i will drag scene again and we're going to set this to xbox top right and just to make this easier for me to remember i will click on that and call it right i will click on this and i will call it left let's go back here and this is xbox so just because i'm going to go ahead and find the xbox icon there it is and notice there are two dots here this time that means that's showing you it's going to have a different it allows you to set an icon a different icon for each of the two states so i'm going to click on the second state and by default if you only click selected one of them it's going to kind of gray out what the other one looks like but we're actually going to go and um change that so it looks a little bit different grab the other icon so now when one is active it'll have the black background with a green icon and the other one will have a green background with a black icon just to make it easier to remember what action you're on you can also add a title in here xbox window you have a very limited space that you can type in however there is a text icon uh, option here where you can determine is the text at the bottom is it the top is it the middle you can also change the font type the font size and do other things like bold italicize underline and change the font color if that's what you needed to do that is the basic on how you use the stream deck and especially the multi-action and the multi-action switch if you like what you see remember to like subscribe comment for more